beach at home. There's a cow grazing on it. But hey, why would someone tie a cow to the ocean like this? To the beach, sorry, where there's no grass. It just makes no sense. Hello everyone, welcome to Michael Pibos Terra. To begin this vlog, I'm first going to show you this natural beauty. I couldn't just jump into it like a blue movie. <laughs> I have to show you this journey. And despite the fact that this whole stretch of beach is really private already, I'm taking you to an even more exclusive spot. You're gonna love it, I'm telling you, man. Walking with my, my digger Barack. Barack has Have you ever seen a more rugged yet stunning landscape like this? I doubt it. If your answer is yes, I highly doubt it. It's natural. As in it's untouched. It's, it's just the way God created it. There are no buildings, it's just natural. You know, this is one of those places you usually come with three or four of your boys and a crate of beer in the evening and make a bonfire. And you bring about 10 ladies because you can't have too many ladies. I'm just saying. <laughs> As a matter of fact, bring 12 ladies plus one just in case. You know what? Round 12 to 15 ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't crucify me in the comments. Women are awesome. You know what? 15 isn't such a good number. Let's round it off to an even 20. Yeah. <laughs> Three or four dudes and 20 ladies. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> That's my kind of party right there. <laughs> Water is still in the reef right now because it's early. And now, after a few minutes of walking, we are at a top secret location. Look at that. Welcome to by far the most beautiful secluded beach in the world. Just how God created it. There are no buildings anywhere. It's beautiful, man. It's just me and my boy here. We're drinking coconut wine. Check this out. That's Baraka right there. <laughs> He's chewing some cut. We're drinking coconut wine. As in, Hakuna Matara. We say Hakuna Matata, not Matara. But it applies, man. Hmm? Take a look at all this nature around us. As in, there are, there's nobody else here. It's just us. It's me and my boy, man. Times like this, 
say God is great, man. Look at this. Are you hearing that wind? It's crazy, right? And this happened to be the same day I handled this deadly puffer fish with my bare hands. But before you try to lynch me for my indiscretion, you should know that I didn't know how deadly these things actually are. I found this guy on the beach. I'm trying to revive him, but he's gone. Sorry. Look. Beautiful little puffer fish. I can't. I can't try to prepare this guy because if I prepare him, I'll be honest, I'm a chef, but <laughs> I'm not really skilled in preparing a puffer fish. So since I know I can't really prepare that puffer fish, I, I still got my knife here. So uh, I'll prepare the... There's some beautiful limpets right here on the rocks. Take a look at this. See that? That's a limpet. See all of this? These are all limpets right here. Let me let me snack on some. Okay. Let's grab this little guy. So I cracked the, the limpet off its shell and all I need to do is wash it in a little salt water. But that's plenty here in the ocean too. See that? And as I told you before, the best way to eat limpets is raw. See that? Got a little bit of sand on it. But the, the meat is really sweet. Even if you wash it in the ocean water, it's still somehow, uh, it's more on the sweet side. Sweet than salty. Anyway, another activity here in the ocean. <laughs> Let me go back to my coconut wine. I've snacked on like uh, five limpets and I'm good. So after eating those, uh, a little bit of those limpets. Um, a fisherman was walking by and he came by with this. See that? They may look small in my hand, but trust me, they're, they're, they're huge. They're not that huge, but they're, they're big. They're bigger than my head. So <laughs> It's good eating. I'm about to start a fire and then we'll shoot a, a, a small video just cooking. I have some soy, I have some some garlic, I have some limes there. For all of this, all of these are from the farm, except the soy and the <laughs> and the salt, of course. But yeah, I have my chopping board and my trusty knife over there. You know, it is killing the fish. I'm scaling them now. I'm going to score them. A little across. I watch them right there in the ocean. And I'm just going to score them a little. Like that. And the, this fish was swimming just a few minutes ago. They're that fresh. So now we are chopping the garlic. Not too fine. And then just mashing them a little to release that juice. That's what we are going to marinate this fish in. Want that garlic flavor inside those fish. Uh, I'm not going to salt it because you know, I, I washed the fish in there. In the ocean right there. They already have enough salt. I'm going to squeeze some of this lime. Throw those away. See that? So right now the fish is marinating in some very uh, simple ingredients. Soy, garlic, some salt from the sea and uh, <laughs> just lime. Simple ingredients but the flavor is insane. Because that fish is so fresh, it's crazy. Let my boy Baraka light the, the fire. Burn them. <laughs> 
now we are going to the throat the fish. <laughs> but this is the only way to roast a fish in the beach. Okay, it's not the only way. Last time we saw it, but then we simply. If you think it gets better than this, nah, it doesn't get better than this. We're right here at the ocean, cooking some fish, marinated in soy, garlic, ginger, salt. It's crazy, the freshest fish. They were swimming just a few minutes ago. Okay, right now it's like an hour ago, but that's the freshest fish you can get. <laughs> Take a look at that. Low and slow, low and slow. <laughs> Not on direct heat. Yeah, it's like smoking that fish. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, the next thing. Just a little oil. And simply massage that in. Gently into the fish. You know, we're taking care of this fish. It's like, it's like there are pets. Some pets that we are, we are going to eat right now. Good stuff. Right, a few minutes in, and they're almost done. I believe this one, in fact, in fact, this one is done. I still like my, my, my fish nice and moist. See that? Okay, let me pick this one. This one is done. Guys, a few minutes in, and the fish are ready. Look at that. Perfectly browned roasted fish right right over there in the ocean. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> My boy there with his coconut wine. As in it's crazy. Now it's time for digging in. Now as you can see, perfectly roasted fish. It's really moist. And the garlic. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is insane, man. It's crazy. <laughs> After that, some coconut wine. So, guys, we are done swimming, drinking, and chewing. And this is the scenery that bids you farewell on your way home look at that this is indeed therapeutic if you ever have a bad day just click this video and look at this natural beauty it's like looking into another planet I swear I guarantee you your stress will simply fade away like a bad memory. Look at this. I say it doesn't look like planet Earth. But this is my rural hometown. <laughs> it looks more like a CGI creation from a different world, right? <laughs> That's what I was telling you that day. Look at this. These shells. As in they are embedded deep into these rocks. So they are probably they are probably older than the dinosaurs. And if the dinosaurs saw this, <laughs> if the dinosaurs were talking and they saw this, they were like, damn, these are old. Look at those creatures in there. I'm guessing they are way more than a million years old. In fact, these might be billions of years old. Okay, not billions, but... <laughs> If they are this deep into the rock, as in they were here way before these rocks were ever formed. Beautiful. So, just concluded the terrific meal at the beach. It was insane. Moist, perfectly roasted fish. Now, walking back home, my boy is behind me and got these scenarios right here. 
take a look at this scenery. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm telling you this beach. The most secluded beach. Just enjoy, just enjoy the beach. Just enjoy it, man. Because you won't find another secret beach like this. You have to na navigate through certain, you know, crevices <laughs> to get back home. But look at the scenery, man. Just take a moment and look at this. Feel the wind. There's a boat right there. Looks like it's abandoned. That's the only evidence of, of humans here. <laughs> the boat. Baraka. <laughs> Guys, that's what it's all about. That fish was so moist and delicious. Now you can enjoy this scenario as you conclude the video. Let's go find that sun. Let's tell some about it. Anyway, it's an adventure getting out of here. So. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, have a great one. <laughs> Later.